Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video and we're back playing Clanad. It's been forever since I've last played Clanad actually. Let me check, when was it? Load over here. It's April 15th since I last played it. I think. Or no. I was but that's the day. No. I last played it in October. Yes. <laughs> I last played it in October, so that was, that was quite a while ago. And they updated this. Like, what did this, this, this happen? It's different. I don't know if this is just something because the load and this, like, text right here is completely different for some reason. I don't know why. The volume is too high. Hold up. There you go. Okay. Let's cancel that. Okay, whatever. Let's escape. Watch how things turn out. I don't think I picked any choices last time. And so I'll... I'll watch how things turn out. I wonder how the teachers are planning to deal with this situation. So I decided to stay put and see how this whole ordeal turns out. Suddenly, the spectators in another classroom get incredibly rowdy. What now? One student le uh, leans out of the window and excitedly points down towards the ground. Hold up. Give me one second. I need to go see where I ended last video. Because I don't remember. I don't know if I already picked this, like, did this choice or if I left off at this choice. So I gotta check. I only made two videos of this game, so <laughs> where did I end it? Yeah, I ended up. Uh, I ended off there. Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure. I look down. There, I see the figure of a lone student calmly walking up to the two guys running wild on their motorcycles. Long hair and with a slender body. It was a girl. People are now even starting to cry out in shrill cheers. Whoa! Wait, that was you? Maybe she's planning on giving him a scolding. No way. <laughs> this ain't fooling. Uh, this ain't fooling around, you know. Just what are the teachers doing? Not a single one has even so much as shown their face. Oh, it's starting! The motorcycles come to a standstill right in front of the girl. Both parties face each other. It looks like they're talking about something, although I can't make out exactly what. Tomoyo-san- Tomoyo-san kick their asses! There's a cheering coming from the classroom below. Kick their asses? What, her? <laughs> More like she's the one who's gonna get her ass kicked. Just for a moment, I felt as if the girl smiled. As if she were thinking, this'll be interesting. As for what happened afterwards, it was over in the blink of an eye. And before I realized it, the girl is already on her way back, accompanied by grand cheering, dragging along the delinquents, one with each arm. Ah! For a short while, we're both at a loss for words. <laughs> what? I'm interested in this. I'm not interested. Uh, I'll save again, because this is- Oh, they changed again! The fuck? I don't fucking know what's going on with this. Okay, and it used to not be like- they used to pop out on the side, I think. Wait a minute, I'm interested in this, because- She's my favorite character, but whatever. <laughs> this is the perfect way to kill time. I get up from my seat and leave the classroom. I'm coming too, wait up! Sunohara runs after me. I was telling you, that was definitely strange. It's just impossible. Well, let's go check with our own two eyes, okay? Um, we get to the hallway in front of the staff room. Spectators had gathered there too. I don't recognize any of their faces, so they're probably all underclass. The only third year student down here are Sunohara and myself. Well, this is self defense, bro. Yes, we started it. It's not Tomoyo san's fault. Tomoyo san? You know her name? So, are you too acquainted with her? Her eyes glimmer. Yes, that's right. Really, no. Well, it looks like these two have also regret what they've done, so I'll let you off without punishment this time. But please refrain from such a dangerous behavior ever again. Just let us teachers deal with these things. Alright. There's that glimmer again. Hey you! I grab hold of one of the spectators. Who is that? Huh? You don't mean Tomoyo-san, do you? He answered as if to say, What? You've seriously never heard of her? Tomoyo Sakagami. She's a second year student who transferred in the spring. Does she always do this kind of stuff? Just occasionally. Even though the teachers were so scared that she just hid away inside the staff room, she came out and faced those punks alone. She's so cool. If she took even one wrong step, she'd be just an idiot. 
if she were an idiot, she wouldn't have been accepted into the school. That's not my point, though. I'm pushing her way through the spectator. Uh, the girl uh, pushing her way through the spectators. The girl makes her exit. I fix my glaze upon her back as she leaves. Someone this strange was going to this school. I never knew. Well, I hadn't really been coming to school since the spring, so I guess it's natural that I don't know her. And with their heroin gone, the specters also started to leave in groups of twos and threes. I'm telling you, it's definitely strange. It's impossible. I'm leave or I'm leaving without you. Hey, wait up! And thus, we also left. Yay. Homeroom finishes, finally bringing a close to the school day. Oh, fuck. That was a good nap. Alright, wanna go somewhere, Okazaki? I forgot to read it. Okay, whatever. Well, we might as well make good of our time after school and have some fun, right? So where to two? I thought I told you I'm broke. Oh yeah, me too. Let's swing by the cafeteria then. I bet there's someone still hanging in around there uh, that'll buy us something to drink. You can't be serious. Anyway, let's go. With nothing better to do, I decided to follow him. Hey, buy us a drink! Sinhara grabs one of the younger students and began extorting money from him like a, like a right mob boss. Not just a hundred yen, two hundred. I need two drinks, one for me and one for that guy over there. You really are a good kid, you know that? Let, let us know if you ever need anything. We've got some real pool outside of school. Know what I mean? Just, just the other day, this guy picked a fight with me. I put one finger between his eyebrows and then, boom, the guy's head split. <laughs> the guy's head exploded, chunks everywhere too. It was pretty brutal. <laughs> Liar. You really are a good kid, you know that. Uh, let us know if you ever need help. I saw in disappointment at Tsunohara, who's shaking down yet another student for soda money. What do you have, Okazaki? A fried pork cutlet bowl. What? I'm not buying you dinner. I'm getting you a drink. But I'm hungry. Well, I am too. But like I said, I'm broke. You should lop off one of your fingers then and use it as payment. Uh, so let me get this straight. You want me to chop off part of my hand just so I can order some pork cutlet over rice? That's messed up, man. Sunahara pressed the button on the vending machine. The, the mechanics inside it were as it pours ice and soda into a paper cup. Here. Tied yourself over with this. It's not me it's not meat paid for in blood, but it's carbonated, so it'll fill you up. <sighs> Fine. We w we waste some time in the cafeteria. Afterward, I return home before the sun goes down. I quickly change and leave the house before my father gets back from work. As I get to the dorm and begin uh, my walk down the hall, a horde of giants barrel towards me. Thud. Whoa. I just barely moved out of the way as they rushed past. They were a bunch of rugby guys. They run straight into their own rooms and slam their doors shut. A lone woman turns the corner and comes tearing down the hallway after them. It's this woman. She stops and stands next to me. She's the resident's dorm uh, mother and purveyor of order on the premises. Misai uh, Sagara. Okay. Though I don't live in the dorm, it's impossible to have not met her seeing as I'm here practically every day. What? <laughs> Nearly grown... Okay, whatever. Talk to her. Do nothing. I'll save again. I'm pretty sure she also has a romanceable route, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, though. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I'll do nothing, though. Uh, why are you sighing? Um, Misai-san returns the way she came. Sighing deeply again. I lie sprawled out on Sunohara's floor, reading magazines. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come over anymore today? Yeah, but I wanted to read some of these. Oh, and you're here too. So I'm just the added bonus, huh? W well, no, I want to devour all of these magazines while I'm by your side, buddy. Why do you have to read them besides me? Flip. <laughs> awesome, ignoring me already. What? Can you keep it down? Give that one back! I haven't even read it yet! So, reread an old magazine. Look, this one has has an unfinished crossword puzzle. Come on, try fill- Or, look, look, this one has an unfinished crossword puzzle. Come on, try filling it in. 
But you're holding the next issue with all the answers in it. You Perfect, then we can compare answers later. I'll praise you for a good uh, for a job well done if you get if you get it all right. Now go get him. Who the hell do you think you are? Your master of what? Quiet down, I can't concentrate. What? Why are you getting mad at me now? Boom. Shut up over there! The anger the angry voice from outside the door causes Sunohara to shrink into himself. See, you'll get another gang beating um, if you don't keep it down. You're the absolute worst. Damn it. Fine. I really will do this crossword puzzle. You'd better admit defeat if I, if I get all these correct. Sure, I'll, I'll get right on that. One across. What's the period from j January 1st to 3rd called? Haha, <laughs> what a stupidly easy question. Three day vacation. O okay. Teacher, we have an idiot on our hands. What? <laughs> okay. No, that's strange. What's wrong? The answer and number of spaces don't match up. Something's wrong with this puzzle. What's wrong is your answer. Forget it, I quit. What a stupid, boring puzzle. Sunohara tosses the magazine into the corner of his room out of frustration. Isn't there something we fucking do? Oh yeah, uh, that thing was pretty interesting, wasn't it? What thing? The motion by the school gates? Oh, with that Tomoyo girl? Yeah, that. I don't like it when people try to stand out like that. It's just one big farce. Huh, what do you mean? One girl taking two guys out on her own? There's no way. You were watching, weren't you? You can't deny reality. That had to have been an act. I bet those guys were just a couple of plants. I've got... <laughs> it's got to be why they did, did it so far away from everyone. That, um, that way people wouldn't catch on. Plus, it was like the perfect place to get attention. A little too perfect. And now, uh, lo and behold, she, uh, she's starting to get popular because of it. Coincidence? I think not. It just, um, it, it was just a cheap ruse that worked because the, the kids at our school don't know what a real fight looks like. God, it's too bad too. Our school has a veteran who's fought his way through countless battles right here. Hey, you're making me blush. I'm talking about myself. Liar. I just don't know the stories. When I was a freshman, uh, I was known as a vicious street fighter. Really, man? That's the story you're going with? A street fighter? With that scrawny build? Okazaki, power doesn't come from appearance. It's about strength, right? Listen to your con listen to your contradicting yourself. You were just telling me how a girl could never possibly fight on her own just because she's a girl. Okay, fine. How about this then? I'll pick a fight with her tomorrow. That way, I can show you how strong I am while also proving that she's nothing but a fraud. Okay, well, break a leg. I turn over with the magazine still in my hand. I haven't itched for a fight like this in a while. Okay, you probably never itch with the full fight like this ever. <laughs> Yawn. Hey, I want to get to bed soon. It's already a.m. Are you gonna stay over? If you are, I'm turning off the lights. Whoa, stop. Huh? I'm not staying over. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to sleep, so can you leave? You don't have to tell me. I toss the magazine away and stand up. Just as I pull the doorknob, I stop and stand there. By the way, have you heard? They say some creepy stuff happens late at night in the storm. What? Never mind. Finish what you're saying! Okay, good night. I close the door. I hear moans of agony come streaming from his room, but I ignore them as I leave the dorm. Damn. It's the illusionary world one. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at it. A distant world. Oh, it's this. It's a dim, dark place. Where could this be? I think I'm inside a room. It's deserted, though. I can see a desk, at least. Someone should be sitting there, but they're not. Not a thing here moves. Only time as it passes by unflinchingly. If I were a new life, searching for a place to be born, I think that this would be the wrong place to choose. I'm frightened by it, this world. I've come, I've come, or I've long since come to realize something. This world has already come to an end. Nothing will be born here again. 
nor will anything die. Even time doesn't exist in this place. Nothing new can come to an end. Life was once born here, but that was all. Once you're shut in this never-ending world, you can't ever escape. Unable to die and unable to be born into a new world. That is the frozen world I now see. I'll just close my eyes and leave this place. That's my thinking anyway. Please, next time I wake up, don't let it be here. Let it be better, warmer world. I move my eyes oh. and cut myself off from this world. Okay. Just then, I see a momentary flicker of light. Something moved. I don't know what it is, but I'm certain that someone's here with me. Had this place not come to an end after all? Or is it just something that's already been living here? Light escapes through a window and reaches the wall in front of me. Something in its shadow is moving. Perhaps I would have seen it if I'd been able to move my eyes. But I still don't know its true identity. It's moving slowly. Eventually, the light on the wall returns to its original shape. But then out of nowhere, a single girl appears before me. I can tell that she's still innocent. Her eyes are transfixed in my direction. Can she see me? She holds out her hand, but it doesn't touch me. Instead, it goes right through. Yes, I haven't been born in this world, so I can't be touched. But in that case, how did the girl notice me? And am I simply visible and that's it? If, if that is the case, what do I look like then? The girl pulled back her hand and is now waving to me. Then she leaves. I can't see her anymore. Someone was here in this place. What could she be doing in an already finished world? How could she live? What nourishes her? What, if anything, is letting her stay alive? For some reason, I can't stop thinking about her. Is it because of how different this place is? I'm so frightened. This is not a world to be born into, but a girl lives in it. Is that why? <clears throat> Damn. I see this world again. Much of it is boring, unmoving play, place, okay? From time to time, a girl appears. She and I are not, unable to communicate our thoughts to one another. All she does is look at me, and all I can do is look at back, look at her back, or look at her back, whatever. But I'm certain that I had been longing for this moment. The girl's life is one of solitude. There's no one here aside from her. That much is obvious. Like I said, nothing can be born here and yet nothing can die. That's the nature of this place. That must be why. She's able to look at someone like me yet never get bored. Okay. One day the, girls appear, the girl appears in front of me with her arms full of something. They're pieces, both large and small, of, of scraps. Items whose um, uses are unknown. Things that could only be described as junk. The girl spends a long time putting the junk together. How much time has passed, anyway? Before I know that, before I know it, though, a doll stands in front of her, about half her height. She seems proud as she stands up, turning towards me. When I see her face, I finally come to a realization. That body is for me. But what am I supposed to do with it? I'm unsure. Should I wish? To be born into this world? Has that been my wish? I'm still afraid of this place. A world without life or death. That can never be escaped. If this world truly is that closed off, this is where I would come to an end. The girl has her arms outstretched. I stare at her I stare at her scrapped and scratches hand scrapped and scratched hands. This world's one source of warmth. At some point, it had become but I saw it. Damn. Okay. Clad Nad. April 16th. She's there again. You know. She bobs her head down to greet me. Good morning. Wait, no. There's a whole list of things I want to say to you, but... First off, what are you doing here again? My reason is that I overslept, but I bet yours is different. You've probably been here for a while now, haven't you? Hi. What? Are you just standing here and greeting every student that goes by? Even the late ones? Um... <sighs> I scratch my head at, um, at how pointless this seems. Why is my face do that? That's weird. Okay. There is nothing else I can do for her. 
It's not as if I owe her anything either. It's just, she didn't look like a delinquent like me. In fact, when we first met, I thought she, she seemed kind of cute. That's all. Do it yourself. If there's one last thing I can do for her, it's scolding her. So that's what I do. I can't rely, you can't always rely on others, you know. She nods, seeming to realize that there's nothing else she can do. See ya. Hi. I climb the hill alone, her gratitude at my back. Okay. Um, just as second period ends. What's up? I'm here. Sunohara appears. What are you here for? Didn't I tell you last night? I'm gonna challenge Tomoyo, that second year girl. I'm about to head out to do it. You were serious about that? Listen, these kind of things need to be nipped in the bud. I've got a teacher. She can't get away with acting like that at this school. Come on, let's go. Go with Sunohara or stay. I'll go with him, but I will save. Okay. There's only 10 pages for saving, so yeah. Uh, go with Sunohara or yeah. I'm sure there's more because I, if, I can't save at every choice. Because if I save at every choice, why do I turn orange? Why? Um, but yeah, I can't, um, save at every, like, text option because it doesn't, you know. So I don't know which text option doesn't matter to, uh, to get a certain ending. But never mind. What was her name again? I think it was Tomoyo Sakami, if I remember right. Hmm, what a boring name. Sure is fitting for someone who would play such petty tricks. Says the guy with the almost impossible to read last name. That's got nothing to do with this. As... I just went asking around what class she was, she's in. Apparently it's 2B. <clears throat> okay. I was gonna pick a fight. Here it is! I look up at the number above the door. It reads 2B. Let's go. Go by yourself. That I will. Sunohara brazenly enters the second year classroom. He catches a couple of guys um, chatting near the entrance and asks them something. He then comes back. They say she's not here. Won't she be back eventually if you just wait here? I'm not sure about that. She's the type to try gaining popularity by faking these crazy stunts after all. She probably took the guy guys to some empty classroom and is... And what? Well, do doing something in these... A girl shoves Shinohara to the side and enters the classroom. Man, so you really are weak, aren't you? I say crouching down next to him as he's lying face down in an awkward position. Even a Buddhist master can't win against a surprise attack. So, in that head of yours, Buddhists are martial artists or something. You really are a dumbass. It's just a figure of speech! All of a sudden, he snaps and gets up. Then, how about you try saying it correctly? I give a shit! Looks like he really is a dumbass. Damn it. That, that guy who pushed me just now is definitely in for beating. Whoever just knocked me over, show yourself! He shouts deep into the classroom. The classroom comes still as death. From within, I can hear the grating, uh, the grating noise of a chair's legs. A, lo a lone female student stands up. Her overpowering gaze pierces right through Sunohara. You see, or, you see this, Okazaki-san? How lucky! Now you don't ha even have to pick a fight with her. Hey, come with me, you bastard! Or I don't really care what you do, man. Or do, but man, every single one of your lines sure are lame. Quit ruining the mood, you bastard! Damn. I don't give a damn, you bastard! <laughs> she tries to go back into the classroom. Hey, wait! He grabs her by the shoulder. This isn't something you can just fix with an apology. And you're sure trying to... Uh, you're, you're sure being tr treated like a f Or, man, you're sure being treated like a fool. You, uh, come into this hallway. She looks around. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of people staring at us. She leaves the classroom. Damn. That reminds me. You fought with some guys yesterday in the same way, didn't you? Well, uh, done at that. I guess it ain't easy getting popular. It was all stage, right? All fake. There's no way a girl could win against a guy. Why is this the one thing you're being so damn critical about? You gave them money or something so they'd lose to you on purpose, right? Oh shit. Oh. Or did you perhaps not pay them with money but with something else? It sure seems nice being a girl, being able to turn foolish boys into your slaves just like that. What's wrong? Are you speechless because I got it on sp spot on? About what? 
<laughs> forgot space bar was the hide button. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, they won't. So, uh, yeah, they won't. So give them your all. Just whose side are you on? Not yours, that's for sure. Well, say what you want. I'll make, I'll be making you reevaluate your stance shortly. Just don't fall for me, okay? This guy is disgusting. Come at me whenever you want. You'd better not regret those words. Don't get so full of yourself. Die! So the heart throws a punch at her. After those famous last words, <laughs> at that very moment, I remembered. I heard rumors here and, and there that at one time, there had been an incredibly strong girl in this town. She would wander the town at night, prowling, hunting down any people who bothered um, in innocent citizens. Illuminated under the moonlight, she would be absolutely terrifying and absolutely beautiful. That's the rumor I heard. Tell me before I get beaten up! Sunohara had been beaten to a pulp, and since classes had already started, Tomoyo had disappeared as well. Even if I had told you, you still wouldn't have stopped, right? Well, it may be true, but still. Damn it, you aren't reliable as a friend at all. Sorry, but I don't think of us as friends. Why not? You, you, you were really lame just now, right? First, you keep yapping on about being really strong despite appearances. What the fuck? And then when you actually go and pick a fight, you immediately get completely demolished. Man, that's such an embarrassing way to go. But even so, no matter how pathetic you are, at the very least, I alone will stay your friend forever. So don't worry. It's fine if you don't think of me as a friend. See? Damn, why did it end up like this? It's because you're weak. You're wrong. Seriously, I'm actually quite strong physically. So that's why you went and picked a fight. You immediately got completely demolished. Man, that's such an embarrassing way to go. Why did it restart? Oh, he just repeated. I was like, why are you repeating? Quit repeating that. But hadn't you heard those rumors too? Yeah, I had, but still, it's exactly that. It's exactly that, right? Just a rumor. I never believed such a monster actually existed. No, actually, I still don't believe it even now. So then, what? Do we conclude that you're far weaker than even the average girl? No, that's wrong! I was just rusty! Are you talking about your brain? I'm talking about my skills! It's because I tried to go all out so suddenly and I hadn't yet recovered my old combat instincts either. So, what do you plan on doing now? Naturally, uh, re rezone. What the fuck? You mean revenge? Yes, that, revenge! Ducky, you tag along with me after school. I'll be off, warming my body until then. With that, he stands up and starts to walk away on st on steady feet. Don't you have anything better to do? And I'm not gonna get another CG. Um, okay. Fourth period ends, which means it's time for lunch break. Even though I've only been in class for two hours, I still feel sluggish. I don't know how will these other kids do it. Some of them are completely un- I guess I'll go eat lunch. Let's go eat lunch. Look, it's, it's the cafeteria with all of them students just there uh, sitting down and doing lunch cafeteria and things. This guy's not wearing a school uniform, so this guy should get completely killed. I don't know. This guy's also wearing the same thing, so I guess it might be a uniform, but I don't know what the fuck's with this. This uh, the guy's uniform. It's the guy's uniform. He's not wearing his uniform properly. He's not wearing the blazer. He, he has his shirt unbuttoned. Bro should get, uh, bro should get, uh, fine $200. <laughs> okay. No, um, I finish eating lunch by myself and leave the cafeteria. During classes after lunch, I look out from the window and see a certain student, bunny hopping, still in his school uniform. If you'd put that much work into sports or studying, you wouldn't have turned out, you would have turned out great. Homeroom ends and it's after school. Sunohara comes up to me, waving um, his, uh, weaving his way through the students heading home. The time has finally arrived! Your hair is pretty messed up. What kind of training have you been off doing? The last part, for the last part, I hung myself from an iron bar and did upside down sit-ups. Even the sports clubs don't uh, do that kind of harsh training. It feels as though my body has finally woke up, woken up. I see, so you're sleeping, uh, uh, whatever the fuck that says, muscles have finally awakened? They're all revved up and ready to go. Don't come close or you'll be in danger, boy. What? Um, is he going to strangle me to death with his ass? <laughs> oh, 
all preparation, son. Let's go. Goddamn, bro. We confront Tomoyo in a deserted hall in the old school building. This guy here is my friend, Sunohara. Please just spare a little time to listen to what he has to say. All he wants is to show you the pure feeling he has for you. Stop making it look like I'm gonna confess to her. How dare you do me in, in like that this morning. That doesn't matter. What matters are the end results. Yep. You two, quit getting along. Calm down, Sunohara. Just take deep breaths. Haha. <laughs> Wait, you're the one agitating me here. Damn it. I'm tired of being insulted like this. Well, whatever. I only underestimated you before. However, this time it will be different. <laughs> Sunohara is being uh, admonished by a junior and a girl at that. I see you're underestimating me. It's probably natural considering she ab or it's probably natural considering she absolutely demolished you earlier. Okay, listen, Tomoyo. Was it? What it? Oh. If you stay off the pitch for too long, no matter how good a pitcher you are, you'll throw a ball like uh, that'll get hit. Sunohara, that's a really lame metaphor. Just look at Inatsu in the good old days, continuously pitching strikeouts after strikeouts. That is exactly my fighting style. Just stop already. Even I can't follow anymore. Moyo looks at me with a pained face. Sorry, I don't actually know this guy. Oh, you don't? And don't look away when someone is talking to you. In short, what I mean is to say I only underestimated you before. Wait, who gives a damn? Um, I can't say it as, as many times. I can say it as many times as I want to. Even when faced with a situation like this, Sunohara who, ac who, was, uh, Sunohara who was actually the one who came to pick a fight with her, starts to become flustered. It must be because her immense composure. However, even Sunohara can't back down after coming this far, so he tries putting up a front uh, of bravado as hard as he can. I wonder which of us uh, will be the one to, no uh, to not come to school anymore. That'd be you. Don't answer me, dammit! <laughs> <laughs> You're the, <laughs> uh, the one guy uh, with this, uh, but is pretending to be the answer. Apparently, that's me. And in the future as well, no matter how many times you need me. That's some confidence you got there. That sounds like fun. Um, as if that's even possible. Quit nitpicking and come at me. It takes just an instant for her to dash right up to Sunohara. <laughs> Damn it! Sunohara holds out his arms in self-defense, but in vain. She slips right through them. Leaving the two faces, the two face to face. Then, using the momentum accumulated from her dash, she unleashes onto him a massive flurry of kicks. Oh, I quickly run up to the garbage disposal chute that sent that set in the wall and open the lid. With her final kick, Suahara is set, plunging his head first into the open hole in the wall. Help me! Bit by bit, he slides further in. This can't be happening, Ok Okazaki, save me! His body sinks further and further into the wall. If you didn't know the situation, it looked like the lower half of someone's body is attached to the wall. <laughs> it's an extremely eerie looking sight. Only the tips of his shoes cl uh, clutching to the edge of the wall are left visible. I didn't say anything! With a flick of a finger, Tomoyo removes Sunohara's grip on the chute. Don't I get any mercy? Wait, what? His wail of death slowly fades and off the distance. Suddenly, her body stiffens. Nah, uh, um, it's him we're talking about. He'll be just fine. I answer her refreshingly and top top it off with a big thumbs up. I I ba or I base that on absolutely nothing, by the way. We laugh together as if we're in some sort of teen drama. I hate to disappoint you. But he's not the kind of guy who'll learn his lesson just like that. It, it'd sure be nice if he were the type to actually listen to what I have to say. I'm not really- I'm really not sure. I only hang out with him because it's fun watching him go crazy. Until he gets tired of it, at least. Well, if it really starts bothering you, just tell me. Honestly, don't look too bothered by it to me. Perhaps worrying that she might be sweating, she tugs her turtleneck shirt and puts her nose underneath. After taking a deep breath, she adjusts her collar back to normal. You've been doing some um, awfully crazy things here too. You know? Better yet, you've done things even far more incredible in the past if those rumors are to be believed. 
I wonder if she's been trying to restrain herself these days. Maybe if I feel like it. Uh, seeing that, she leaves. Aren't garbage chutes supposed to be made so people can't fall in? Didn't you just dislocate your joints there? As if I'd fall in just because of that. Anyway, um, Okazaki. He brings his face toward me. What, man? That girl is seriously strong. Yeah, I actually noticed that a while ago. Well, I guess this, well, I guess this means that the legendary girl, like, uh, uh, girl really does exist. She, uh, she does not. Still don't believe it. It's impossible for a woman to be stronger than a man. You've just made yourself an enemy of every woman in this country. You saw how she looked, right? Well, I agree in regards to that Tomoyo girl, though. Right? It's all, almost absurd. What? Could it be she's actually a guy? I'm really getting worried for your life now. Why? Just try saying the same thing right, right in front of her. <laughs> I guess he's imagining it. He's probably flying through the sky right now. And now he's probably being cremated. <laughs> Let's not do that. You don't like being ashes? You honestly think I was imagining that far ahead? I only went up until around the part where I, <laughs> where I jump out of the casket in a panic. That means you came back to life. That's impossible, you know. What, really? Just suck it up and burn. Why does any of this even freaking hat matter? At any rate, I'm going to go check. Going to check whether you can be resurrected from ashes? <laughs> Why would I test something so dangerous with my body? <laughs> go test whether she's a man or not. She, as in Tomoyo? Yeah. How? There's a, uh, there's plenty of ways, and I'm going to check until I know for sure. At this point, fuck. Um, at this point in time, Sunara had yet to realize that he beca he begun to walk the path of the pervert. I could totally hear that, you know. Just pretend you didn't. It'll be far more fun that way. As if I do something perverted. Or uh, don't worry, everything will or everything will turn out fine. Well, be sure to stay safe. I want to be able to hear you hear your findings. Don't look down on me. I think you lose the right to say that after you get your ass handed to you in a fight like that. Anyway, I'll give up on trying to discourage him for now. I face Sunahara and give him the thumbs down. The thumbs up. Good lech. I'll be praying for your uh, pervertedness. I say this in the most refreshing refreshing way possible. Yeah! Sunohara took it as a wish for good luck and gives me an equally fresh, refreshing response back. Okay. April 17th. It's the next day. The bottom of the hill. She's there again. She starts to say something to me as I pass by, but falters before she can get it out. I stop walking. What is it? The wind blows. The tips of her hair float for a moment. I can see cherry blossom petals begin to fall. I forgot. Good morning. See you. I climb up the hill, uh, treading the newly laid blanket of cherry blossoms. Yo, you're late. You are here earlier than me. This can must be a dream. Here, let me try punching your cheek. Pinch your own cheek. But wouldn't that, but wouldn't that hurt if this was actually real? It hurt for me too. So anyway, why are you here? Well. I can't just- I can't just remain s uh, stained with dishonor like this. Huh? Which stain do you mean? Why are you making a sound as though I've got a lot of them? Of course, the stain of losing to a woman. Uh, that one. Today, I'll prove that she's a man. I, and you came here this early just for that? So, how are you going to prove it? I'll ask her questions that'll make her inadvertently give up the fact that she's a man. For example, hey, could you lend me a razor sometime or something? This guy actually thinks that's a casual question. So, how do you plan on smuggling something like that into a natural conversation? It'll work out one way or another. You just watch. Go and watch, stay in the classroom. I'll save again. Because of course I'm going to watch. Why wouldn't I watch that? I want to watch him get uh, destroyed. Sunohara leaves the classroom in high spirits. Leaving my bag, I follow after Sunohara. Did someone call me just now? Well, whatever. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was one of the other girls. <laughs> it's completely ditched. I didn't come to pick a fight with you today. I'll be go for a stroll and talk a bit. Tomoyo directs her eyes at me, as, as though to ask, What's this guy up to? I have no idea, I reply with a shrug. 
We don't need to walk, do we? Or right, that's okay, whatever. Here? Well, alright. Let's see. This morning, right? I like totally overslept. Twas horrible, T. What? <laughs> okay. And when I like tried shaving, it actually turns out the blade was chipped, you know? Man, that gave me an ouch. So I'm like really sorry for asking, but could you perhaps lend lend me your razor? Yes, she fell for it. You heard it too, right, Okazaki? Yeah, I heard it all right, but you just said I just now, didn't you? In other words, it means that you own a razor, and in that case, of course. Huh? More importantly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven combo. Liar! Yep, it was self defense. Hey, don't get swayed to her side like that! Damn. With that, Tomoyo turns and returns to the classroom. So your plan was a bust, huh? Damn it! All throughout class, Sudahara moans and groans without taking a single look at the blackboard. Those unusually large breasts of hers, they have to be fake! That's what you're think. that's what you were thinking of? I bet it's padding or something. So what if it is? In that case, if I suddenly went and asked her to let me borrow her breast, she'd agree to add the What the fuck? <laughs> what is this guy on? Out of curiosity, when would someone ever need to borrow someone else's breasts? I'm sure you could think of plenty of reasons. I wonder. Come on, let's go. Following him, we're doing nothing. Of course. Of course I'm gonna follow him. I want to see him fail miserably. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Uh, follow him. So Nohara leaves the classroom with obvious excitement. Well, he has come this far. I guess I'll go with him. I begin to follow him. <laughs> this person keeps trying to talk to me, but I keep leaving. <laughs> Whatever. Damn. No, I'm not up to anything this time. I just came to see you. I mean, you're surprisingly ble beautiful after all. No, you a uh, sight for sore eyes. Whoa, it's already this late. It's almost time for my next class. Oh, oh no, I forgot the boobs I need for my next class. <laughs> oh, the fuck, dude? What is this guy on? This guy is seriously chronically insane. Yes, she fell for it. You asked me why, which means that you can lend them to me, right? That means you can take them off, right? <laughs> More importantly, she hit an uh, eight combo now. It was in self-defense. A new record. Yup. You. Uh, you couldn't even think of anything witty um, to part with. Bro is seriously uh, Bro's failing at everything. Damn it! I'm not finding anything I can use. That's because she's a girl. Anyway, just wait to see. Next break, I'll show her. Looking forward to it. You'll, you'll just end up <laughs> uh, flying around in the air anyway. Tsunohara. Huh? Have a nice lich. Yeah. I bet that girl's gonna try talking to me again. Third period ends. Okay, it's break. Just what you were waiting for. Heh <laughs> so break already. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like I- I don't know what it is, but I feel like I can relax better during class. Well, you did get the living daylights kicked out of you. You're wrong, Okazaki. I dodged every one of those at the very- very last moment. I can't believe you're able to tell that big of a lie after getting totally destroyed like that. Shut your stupid mouth! What? You know, we should be civil about this. Okay. So, are you gonna give up? No, not after my honor's been dragged through the mud. I swear, I'll prove that Tomoyo's a man and clearly my name- and clear my name once and for all! Have you already thought up your next plan? Of course! What else could you think- uh, what else could you- think class time is supposed to be for uh, used for for studying okay I have a question for you there's one request that no man can turn down what is it what the fuck I accidentally uh, closed uh, okay no clue nothing comes to mind you can't even figure that much out you don't deserve to call yourself a real man sure I'm fine being a fake one the answer is a group urination get in a fight with if you get in a fight with the guy, why do I turn orange? You know he's still your friend if he goes to piss with you. It's a beautiful thing. No man can turn down an invitation to piss with another guy. 
I'd refuse v uh, v vehemently. Come on, uh, come on, let's go. I gotta save again because it's a very. But I'm pretty sure all of these uh, three choices that it gave me to save just um, lead to the same outcome or something. So Nohara leads the classroom as he loosens up his shoulders. I guess I'll go see him act like an idiot. I begin to follow him. Can you try to talk to me? But like, I I leave. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I was like, yo, just whatever. That's three times already. No, this time is different. This time will be different. <laughs> this time. Sinohara suddenly lunges at Tomoyo. Tomoyo kicks. Ah, krem, uh, karaba, come, oh, well, why Spanish? Uh, Tomoyo kicks Sinohara against the wall with full force. Damn. Pfft. After, uh, spitting out some, uh, film mixed with blood, he slowly gets back up. Hey, come with me for a bit, Tomoyo. Don't worry about it. It won't be far. Come on, let's go. So Nohara starts walking. Tomoyo follows after him. They walk straight ahead for a while and then turn a corner. And right there was the men's restroom. Far away, I can see Sunohara flying in the air. She returns, dragging along Sunohara, and now resembles a tattered dust cloth. Apparently, he wanted to check whether you're a woman or not. I'm not a part of this, though. The only one who wanted to check is this guy. Even though you totally wanted to know, too? Why would I even care? Not to mention, it's obvious she's a girl to begin with. But you even wished to, uh, wished me good ledge. Wait, good ledge, not good luck? That's right. All I was hoping for, um, from the start was to see your pervertedness in action. You tricked me! Well, sorry about that, but haven't you had your fun now? I say trying to appease Tomoyo. Who grabs my hand? What's this about? <laughs> I'm overcome by anger, she pulls me along. What? She takes me all the way to some place deserted. And then finally let go of my arm. Now just calmly and now just calm down already. That's what that's what you're so concerned about? In the past, you were incredibly wild. Compared to back then, you've actually gotten pretty meek. Just rumors. Um are they all really true? Uh-huh, sure. But we found out that she's ac she actually didn't change. Well, I guess that would be quite the shock to her. Didn't you go on a rampage on the school grounds the other day? You should stop doing things like that. What did you do to them? I don't think it's something normal schoolgirls would do. I still think a normal schoolgirl would have just left it to the teachers. Ah, <sighs> what am I supposed to say to someone like this? You have one tough road ahead of you. That's all I could think of. Uh, what you think of as normal is completely off from the common sense of an ordinary schoolgirl. Sorry about that, I've got a bad mouth. But what are you actually even trying to accomplish by working so hard to behave yourself? Her mood makes a 180 and suddenly her eyes light up. Uh, quit beating around the bush, what is it? Okay, Cuban parcel? I guess so. A package then? A crate then? She seems satisfied. The reaction was pretty slow there. What face? That, uh, okay. How about this then? I guess I just can't bring myself to lie. She openly drops her shoulders as if to show her disappointment. What's wrong? Uh, we don't talk at all. Isn't it more, isn't it mostly soon hard to talk to you? Why, thank you. Tomoyo and Tomoya are basically like, um, two characters who have the same vibe <laughs> they have the same vibe they um they are basically very similar you know? and their names are also basically the same it's good you're feeling dejected though in the school i'm a bad student if you're feeling down because of something that is bad uh that a bad student like me said then that must just mean you're a good student no even after becoming a third year student i'm still mostly fooling around like this don't you think that's bad well, I'm not as bad as you were long ago, but I guess we really are cut from the same cloth. But for all purposes, if you're aiming for the student council, you would bet you best stay away from people like me. It'd be bad if any of the teachers caught you ha I'm hanging out with shady people. Well, that might be, but for me, uh, just the thought of being acquainted with someone from the student council horrifies me. I know. I start walking. But I'm not going to go out of my way to make friends with you either. Where? I'm heading- I'm heading back. The bell's gonna ring if we don't hurry too. 
Check what? Wait, you don't mean... Um, really serious? But, um, no matter how you look at it, you're a girl. Am I? Let's pre pretend for Sunohara's sake uh, that I touched you and leave it at that. So you want me to touch you? What a complicated person. I ignore her and walk away. I guess so. I stopped walking and pinch her cheek. Soft and warm. It's the real deal. What the fuck? How was it, Okazaki? It was soft and warm and re <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> Seriously? Damn it! Man, I don't know whether I'm fresh. Man, I don't know whether I'm frustrated not uh, now knowing she's a woman or whether I'm frustrated as a man. Why am I yawning at this hour? I look at the desk in front of mine. The textbook on, on it is. Gah! English grammar again? Sinohara is passed out on his own seat, so. Skip class, stay around. I don't know which one I could do, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to end the video here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video of Clan Ad. Uh, yeah, like I wanted to get back into playing this game because, you know, it's a new year. <laughs> uh, even though the new year has been a month ago already. And um, of course I have to playing Persona. There's other games that I want to get back into, so I'm going to be playing Persona. I'm going back to play uh, you and me and her, or whatever the fuck the game is called. I only made one video of that one, so I'm going to come back and play that one. And then I'm playing Clanad, because I want to get through it. I can't think of anything else, so yeah. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And uh, of course, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out and bye bye